Today, I'm on the search for the world's largest terrestrial mammal, the elephant. I'm currently in Sri Lanka, it's boiling up, I can't stop sweating, and I'm about to spend five hours on the back of a jeep as I explore Kudula National Park. After a bumpy hour's drive from Sigiriya, I'd made it to Kadilla National Park. And standing up at the back of this jeep gave me some great views of the surrounding grasslands and forest. Plus, it wasn't long before I got my first glimpse of an elephant. Okay, so, holy moly. Only 100 meters in front of the jeep, a small herd of elephants were feeding at the edge of the forest. Hold up, here's one from the bird nerds. It's an incoming Brahimini kite. Lovely. So these guys are mega herbivores and they don't stop eating and they can actually eat over 150 kilos of vegetation every day. That's like two of me. Leaving this first group to their lunch, we pressed deeper into the park and it soon became apparent that Kudilla is a grassy oasis for these elephants and I was loving every second of it. The Sri Lankan elephant is the largest subspecies of Asian elephant and was once found throughout the tear-shaped island. However, as forests are cleared to make space for human development, elephants are being pushed into smaller areas and the ancient migratory routes are being disrupted. So since 1986, the Sri Lankan elephant has been classified as endangered on the IUCN Red List. And over the last 60 to 75 years, the number of Sri Lankan elephants has actually declined by 50%. They face a variety of different threats, but many of which are habitat loss, degradation and fragmentation. Today, there are only two and a half to 4,000 elephants left roaming free in Sri Lanka. These herds usually range from 12 to 20 individuals, and all of which are matriarchal and are led by the oldest and wisest female. So I've just been watching this group of elephants behind us, and they've got two really ridiculously tiny calves. I'm not one to usually get emotional with animals, but God, they're cute. I mean, just look at the state of these two rough and tumbling on the floor. They look like they're having a whale of a time but mum was having none of it. Bosh, move on mate, playtime's over. So when we got here, we were one of maybe six or eight, eight Jeeps and uh, now, as you can see, the park is covered in tourists. Good in one aspect, people are, you know, promoting conservation of this area to keep these elephants safe, but at the same time, you do start to wonder about the disturbance and sort of the negative impacts that presence of all these of people could be posing on, on the elephants. So, Kandilla Park has been phenomenal, but as you can see behind me, the storm's coming in, lightning bolts are going around, bumping all over the shop, but there's still elephants everywhere. Before the heavens opened and soaked us through, it was time to say cheerio to these gentle giants and leave the park. But as it turns out, the elephants weren't quite done with us yet. Just left Cadilla National Park. What a good little cheeky send off this was. Mother and calf grazing on the roadside. 